What's up guys, Rogue9 here, and it has now been almost two seasons since the introduction of the GIGR Defender Kaed into Rainbow Six Siege. At the launch of Operation Wind Bastion, the apparent anticipation was that his gadget would have a significant impact on the meta, and so to ensure that he was not overpowered, he came equipped with one of the worst SMGs in the game, the Org A3 Para. But a lot has changed since then, and the gun has in fact gone through two separate rounds of buffs. Which of course raises the question, is the Org A3 viable now, or should you still stick with the TCS G12? Let's go and find out. To begin our reassessment of Kaid's primaries, let me first give you an overview of what has changed for both guns. When the TCSG was first introduced, it came with a major bug that gave controller users a massive amount of recoil after every shot. For a number of weeks, the gun was basically unusable to console players, but this issue has been fixed by now, and even though we're talking about a bug here, I still think it's fair to say that this was a major buff for controller players. Other than that, there's only been one minor nerf to the shotgun. Kaed is getting on in age a little, and with patch 4.1.3, he misplaced one of his magazines, so now he will have to play PvP matches with 51 shells in total rather than 61. Other than that, the gun remains unchanged. The AUG, on the other hand, has become quite a bit more useful. First of all, the aim down sight time of the gun has been reduced from 450 milliseconds to 300 milliseconds. To me, it never made any sense for Kaid's AUG to be the only SMG in the game that had the slow ADS time of the rifles, so this to me is again more of a bug fix than an actual buff, but hey, the gun is better for it and that's all that matters. And yes, before I get buried under another avalanche of comments explaining to me that the AUG is actually a rifle, yes, the AUG is originally a rifle, but the version that Kayed uses is the 9x19mm AUG Para, and a fully automatic carbine chambered in a pistol caliber is the very definition of an SMG. So to me, this gun is without a doubt an SMG and not a rifle, and this is even confirmed by the in-game damage drop-off distance of 18 to 28 meters instead of 25 to 35 meters, which puts the gun into the game's SMG class. So faster ADS time was the first buff, but even after that, the gun was shockingly bad with a below average damage per shot and a pretty slow fire rate. The resulting damage per second, or DPS, was at 315, the lowest out of all of the SMGs in the game. With the recent buff in patch 4.1.3, the single shot damage for the AUG has been raised by around 20% at all ranges, and this has resulted in relatively decent DPS values of 385 up to 18 meters and 280 beyond 28 meters. Compared to the SMG class averages of 406 and 283, the AUG is still a bit low, but only just. Does that mean that the AUG A3 is redeemed and is now a perfectly capable kind of average weapon? In terms of the numbers of shots required to down or kill and the related time to down or kill, the gun has become more consistent compared to what it used to be, but not really much better. Yes, we can definitely see improvements of needing one shot less depending on the armor type and shot placement, but the best time to down or kill is still 257 milliseconds and against level 1 armor attackers that is still the worst time of all full auto weapons in the game and a good chunk slower than the 204 millisecond average for all the SMGs. Against level 2 armor, the SMG average time to kill is 245 milliseconds, still faster than the AUG, but for level 3 armor, it is 270 milliseconds, so sure, the AUG actually outperforms a lot of the other defender guns in those circumstances. Keep in mind though that out of all of the attackers, there are only three that wear heavy armor, Montagna, Fuse, and Gridlock. And yes, a couple of the recruits as well. Basically, the AUG does well against a tiny handful of opponents. It's mediocre against the most common level 2 armors, but it is still really underwhelming when going up against 3 speeds. The buffs are better than nothing, of course, but I kind of wish that the damage had been raised to 34 points per shot instead of 33. The results against full health opponents would have been exactly the same for level 2 and level 3 armors, but for level 1 armors, the time to kill would have been 171 milliseconds instead, which is very good, but still only 5th best SMG overall. But I guess the objective with all of these buffs was to make the AUG more viable, but still keep it a little weak overall due to the versatility and power of the Electro Claws. 
As always, I also tested the remaining stats for the gun, such as fire rate, ADS time and reload times, and nothing has changed on that front. The capacity of the weapon is still unchanged at 31 plus 1 bullets, although in real life the capacity of the Orc Para is 32 plus 1. It's a minor issue, but one bullet extra wouldn't really upset the balancing at all, and since pretty much all of the other guns in the game stick to real-life magazine sizes, we might as well update the Org A3 to also be correct. And now, how do we conclude on this? Which gun is now the best primary choice for Kaid? The TCSG-12 has barely changed and so my summary remains pretty much the same. Because this gun fires 12 gauge slugs instead of the regular buckshot, you're basically getting a very respectable DMR with breaching capabilities, although the recently misplaced mag will force you to be just that little bit more careful in terms of how much ammo you expend on opening up walls. In the plus column for the shotgun is the fact that you can still attach an ACOG to it, which can make all the difference when holding long angles and fighting at range. The one big drawback of this gun is that it is semi-auto only, making it just that extra bit more challenging to use compared to a full auto weapon. The Org A3 has become a lot more viable, but I would still rate it below average against most opponents based on the detail breakdown I provided earlier. So the choice for us has changed from picking between a good DMR slash shotgun and a very poor SMG to picking between a good DMR slash shotgun and a mediocre SMG that may be just a little bit below average overall. And if you think about it, that actually leaves us with a real choice to be made. At close ranges, the AUG is now definitely viable and more comfortable to use than the TCSG, but on sites where you might want to bring some soft destruction or where you know that you will be holding long angles, you can sacrifice the full auto capability and bring the TCSG instead. I personally will be switching over to the AUG more often now, and I think that most other players will benefit from doing the same, but the shotgun will still remain a valuable option in Kaid's arsenal. What about you? Which of the two guns will be your weapon of choice going forward? Let me know in the comment section below, and while you're there, feel free to give the video a like if you want to support the channel. If you haven't seen my Siege development history video yet, I highly recommend that you check it out by clicking the top left box on screen now. The video is stuffed full of fascinating pre-alpha footage, and if you're interested in Siege or game development in any way, this video is definitely for you. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode.